Hey guys, my name is Josh from the channel Sharpshooter JD, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be making a new table for my Harbor Freight portable bandsaw. This table I have here does work, but it's made from some really thin plate steel, and it just ended up being too thin. So as you can see, it's it's quite flexible and way more flimsy than I would like. And I also ran into the problem because the steel is so thin, I wasn't able to countersink the bolts, which is obviously a huge problem because you can't run long pieces of stock through here without them hitting the bolts. I originally had this piece of plate mounted on a piece of wood to give it extra thickness and then the bolts were countersunk into the piece of wood and the metal plate was just screwed into the wood um, with these holes here. But I kind of mounted it the wrong way so I had to take it apart every time I changed the bandsaw blade and uh, I didn't like that very much. So I decided to just mount the piece of plate steel directly to the bandsaw and cut the slot the other way and drill some new holes. And it works, but obviously there's some big issues with it. So it's high time for an upgrade. This time I will be making one out of some 3 8 inch solid plate steel. It's gonna be super thick, super hefty, and should be super durable and shouldn't flex at all. And hopefully it's everything I need in a bandsaw table. Before we begin, if you guys have not already, make sure you check out my video on making this portable bandsaw stand. It's a great quick little video on a very simple and cheap stand design um, that I kind of came up with. Um, it's based on some other people's designs, but I don't think anybody's done it quite like this before. It's about a five minute video and I do it in voiceover so you get a ton of quality information in a short period of time. I highly recommend you guys checking it out. It's a super simple little stand and it works great. Uh, for those of you who want to mount this to your workbench or to a wall. So go check that out and uh, without further ado, let's get started. So here's where we're going to drill our holes. Before we do that, I'm going to widen this slot up a little bit because it's a little tight. Time to go drill our holes. First step is to center punch the holes. If 
you have an old table, you can check it just to make sure it's right. Now that I've got that, I'm gonna use my center countersink bit um, to center these holes, and then I'll drill it out with a 1364's drill bit. Look at that. Yes, dude. Absolute perfection right there. So pleased with that. Well, there you go, guys. Making a new table for my Harbor Freight portable bandsaw out of some solid 3 8 inch plate steel. This design is scalable to any thickness, shape, or size of material you want to use. This table is a bit small for a lot of people probably, but I got this piece of plate steel from a local metal, uh, depot metal supplier for a really, really good price, just a few bucks. And I needed to use half of it for a new uh, airflow grate for my forge. So I decided to not be too picky about uh, how big it was gonna be uh, and just make it work because it was a really good deal. And I think this will work fine for me because most of what I use this saw for is cutting stock to length, cutting slits in slingshots, uh, in slingshot forks, and cutting slits in cross necklaces. So I think this will be fine for me. I'm doing mostly precision work and cutting slits and stuff. So as long as it's solid, um, it's gonna work for me and it's certainly solid. So I'm super happy with it, but if you need a bigger table, you're gonna be doing some bigger work than go for it, It's it, everything works exactly the same. Um, you can make this piece of stock as big as you want it, as long as you have the slit and the two holes, you're all good. I've seen some really cool round ones, you could probably even do a hexagonal one if you wanted. So yeah, be creative, come up with something cool, and have fun with it. I have one more video with this saw coming out very soon, and that one's gonna be a review of this saw, as well as giving you guys some updates and tweaks um, to the stand after a year of use. It's been working great for me this whole time, but I have made some tweaks and changes to it um, that have helped its performance. Um, so I'll be talking about both of those things in a future video. So if you guys are interested in that, and if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified of each new video I post. I do videos primarily on shop projects like this and on metalworking and primitive homemade weapons. So if you guys are interested in any of those topics, you're really gonna enjoy it here. I've been doing my best to post a new video every two weeks, so every other week, and I'm generally posting on Friday afternoons. So again, make sure you subscribe and make sure you check back often to see new content. And with all that said, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you in the next one.